Imagine a city with no green space, full of skyscrapers and concrete and depression. Thankfully, at one central park, green is a reality. Vegetation is all around you. Comprising of 21 panels and covering over 1,100 square metres, the green walls designed by Patrick Blanc are a prominent feature of the new building. It is located in a highly urban environment, right next to Central Station, alongside the busy traffic strip of Broadway, and with limited green space in the surrounding urban area. The plants in the living wall panels remove particulate matter in the air for both residents and workers in the immediate area, improving the air quality. The large living wall panels also act as thermal insulation, and the green facades help to shade the last glass facades from solar UV radiation, while still allowing airflow through. Through this insulation, ambient noise from the streets below is also reduced. With such a large green development as at One Central, the urban heat island effect is combated by reducing the stored heat in the hard materials, a benefit for the entire local area. Both the irrigation used on the living wall panels and the storm water collected from the roof and planter boxes are reused and recycled throughout the building's water network. But besides these technical aspects, the visual amenity from the street and inside the building is considerable and contributes to the City of Sydney's 2030 Greening Sydney vision. The designer, Patrick Blunk, stated, Vertical gardens are not a criticism of the city, and concrete is not pushing nature further away. It brings man closer to nature. Amazingly, we were also lucky enough to get a chance to interview Mr. Blanc in person for this project. Hello. Uh, so, hi Patrick, are we able to get some uh, comments on your vertical walls? We, oui, we, oui, of course. <laughs> Thank you. So, what was the most important aspect in your living walls? The most important aspect? Well, was it the steel cables? No. Was it the polyamide, my patented design? No. It was, in fact, the plants. Of course it was the plants. I used over 380 species. I used 35,000 plants altogether. I mean, sure, some have died already, <laughs> but the majority are still alive, so it's a great success. Can you tell us a bit about the materials that you've used in the vertical garden? We, oui, of course, of course. I use my own patented polyamide material. Uh, I ship it from France. Other than that, everything else was locally sourced. Uh, polyamide is very good, non-biodegradable, so it will last, you know, forever. Uh, the one at my house has already lasted uh, 31 years, you know, the same age as me. <laughs> so besides the aesthetic qualities, uh, what else is beneficial in your living walls? Well. You know that plants naturally absorb CO2 and they emit oxygen. Subsequently, it's a much, much cooler atmosphere around here for everyone. So cool. So cool. <coughs> oh, do, do you need some water? No. Water is for plants. I only drink champagne. <laughs>